everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different. So first of all, I'm going to introduce you to Rex who is down here nibbling his little toy. Um, and then I'm also going to talk you through yesterday, which was my first outing outside of lockdown, so post lockdown. I was going to vlog the whole thing, but typically my camera decided it didn't want to play ball and it ran out of charge basically. So instead I thought I'd talk you through it and I also nipped into Primark H&M and we went to Ikea as we were close by. So I thought I would show you what I picked up as well. But first of all, let me get you this little troublemaker. He is a pure breed long haired miniature dash hound. Both his mum and dad are long haired miniature dash hounds. So he is a pure breed pedigree. Um, he's had both his injections now. Oh, what are you doing to my hair? Are you in bitey mode? He's in bite mode. Rex, say hello. No, he's more interested in his toy. But give him this. It's got like little food in. So Rex is a long haired miniature dash hound. He is 12 weeks. Let me tell you a little bit about him. So he has been so good. I don't know if we've just been really, really lucky. I don't know if we've just been really, really lucky because we've heard so many horror stories about how naughty they can be, but he's actually been really, really good. So we've been happily surprised. Um, he's been sleeping really well. So at first when we got him, so from about eight to 10 weeks, he would go into his crate, which is his bed, and he would cry probably for about 10 to 20 minutes. Um, we'd put him in at 11 o'clock at night, he'd cry for about 10, 20 minutes, and then he would settle down and he'd then sleep until five o'clock in the morning, which is then when he needed to go out. Um, and then we'd put him back into bed for another couple of hours until about seven and he'd sleep until then. Um, but recently, I think probably, probably the past two weeks, he's been sleeping from 11 o'clock at night until seven o'clock in the morning, which is great news for us as I am not an early bird. Seven o'clock is early enough, which is good. Toilet training, we are getting there. He's not fully toilet trained yet, um, but we are getting there. He's had a few accidents inside, but he's starting to go to the door to tell us when he needs to go, which is good. And we're also just keeping in mind every time after he wakes up, after he's played, after he's just come out of his bed, take him straight outside and he usually goes for a wee quite quickly. He's had both his injections from last week, so we are now able to take him out for walks. So this weekend we plan to take him to the beach. We have just been taking him for short walks around where we live, so he gets used to the lead um, and his collar. We've bought him a harness, but it doesn't fit him just yet. Um, it's a little bit big around his neck, but hopefully he'll grow into it. So I've bought him a collar for now. He's in his teething stage at the moment. So he literally wants to put anything and everything in his mouth. Um, Rex, come here. Come here. On the training front, we have taught him how to sit. Um, and I'm currently teaching him, obviously we're toilet training him, and we are currently teaching him down. Um, and he's starting to get there. Um, he's actually picking things up super quick. Um, and people have said that, are they quite hard to train? Um, but we haven't found that he's not getting things. You obviously, just like any normal dog, you have to keep, keep doing it. Starting off with treats and then toys. Um, but he's slowly getting there. He's not been like naughty as such. He's not found his bark yet. Um, that'll be interesting. If you want me to do a separate video about Rex, let me know. Um, or if you've got any other questions, then just pop them in the comments section down below and I will do my best to answer them. Um, but this video is not about this little terror. Look, I'm gonna take the camera so you can see what he's doing. Say hello. What are you doing? Your private butts are on show. Naughty, you're so cheeky. Look. No, no batting hands. There's a treat stuck in this toy and he can't get it. His little ears. Okay, so this video is not about the little troublemaker. This video is about me going to the hairdressers and to H&M, Primark and Ikea. Right, what's this? Here you go. Um, so yesterday I went to the hairdressers. I was supposed to vlog it, but didn't. My battery had other ideas as it decided it didn't want to work, which was fine. So I thought I'd just tell you about it instead. 
So I went to the hairdressers. I wore my face mask from River Island that I have. I'll show you that in a little bit. I wore that the whole time apart from to take it down to have a drink and just get a little bit of air as it does make you really hot. The hairdressers all had on the plastic visors. Um, so that was okay. Um, don't expect any hairdresser chit chat. Obviously I had a mask on so she couldn't lip read. And obviously then I was muffled. So I was like shouting and she couldn't really hear me. And she was muffled because of the plastic visor. So yeah, that was more difficult, definitely. But apart from that, I was like socially distanced away from everyone. Can you see him there? Rex, what are you doing? I was distanced from everyone. I was two meters apart, probably even more actually from like other people. Um, they didn't have many people in the salon in the first place. Um, hand sanitizer as you walked in. There were wipes everywhere and in front of me if I wanted to wipe any space or any areas. I don't know if you can see him. I can't. He's gone right around the corner. He likes when he's doing something wrong, he hides around that sofa and he knows that he's done something wrong. He's so funny. Um, anyway, hairdressers. So yes, got my hair done. Um, experience was fine. I thought it was fine. Um, I'm so happy to be blonde again, that's for sure. I missed it, I was like almost going brunette. Yeah, if you're worried about going to the hedges at all, I would just give them a call and ask them about their safety measures and what precautions have they put in place. Mine was absolutely fine. Um, I didn't feel there was anything to worry about really. But yeah, so hairdressers was absolutely fine. But if you have any anxiety, then just give your hairdressers a call and ask them what they've put in place. And yeah, that should definitely help. So I also went into H&M and Primark. So I'm gonna take you to my wardrobe now and show you what I picked up. Okay. So I'm gonna have to show you what I picked up in true vlog style because Scott has taken the tripod. So we share a tripod. He is a manager at Heart State Agents and he uses his tripod to take photos and he needed it today. So I am tripodless. So this is how I'm gonna show you. So this is the first thing that I picked up, this cute white summer dress. Now you might recognize this. Um, I have it in this print here, which I will also show you in a second. And I also had the version from last year, which is more of a creamy beige, and that version is also scalloped. So this is the white version. Um, it doesn't have pockets, I'm just looking for them. No, it doesn't have pockets, but it has this gorgeous sweetheart neckline, which I absolutely love, and it's got the buttons going all the way down it, cinches you in at the waist, and then has this little bodice skirt style. So when you spin, it proper moves, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's got quite thin straps. I kind of wish they were a little bit thicker um, or had either like little cap sleeves maybe. I'd love a version with cap sleeves um, just because this weather, it's so up and down. It's really gray and horrible today. But like one day it's like this and then the next it's sunny. So you just, you don't know. So little sleeves would be nice, but it is a gorgeous summer dress um, and this was, I think it was like $24.99, so super affordable and it's also lined, so it's not see-through, so I've got the tag on the back, <laughs> um, it's not see-through, which is really great for the price, so super happy with that one. And then I also just wanted to show you this cute little hat that I picked up from H&M as well. I have got one quite similar, which is from ASOS, but I actually think I prefer this one because it's got a flat top and then this gorgeous, cute little ribbon. Um, I've tied it in a bow at the back. I'll show you in a second. Um, but you can, there's like holes in the top so you can like thread it through and then you could have it tied under your neck. But I don't think that suits me. I just, I look really strange. So I've tied it in a little bow on the actual hat itself. And I think it's so cute. And I think it goes perfect with this outfit. And again, I'm just gonna add my little straw basket bag. And I think this is such a nice summer look. I just need the sun to come out and I'm all set to go. But I absolutely adore this. And I think it was like, 
think it was like 12.99 and it also came in different sizes which is so good because so many hats just come in one size and i've got a really funny shaped head so this came in a small medium and large i'm wearing the small um because i've got such a small head it's really difficult to find hats that actually fit me so this was a really good find i think it has sold out on the actual website but now we can go back into store. They had loads in my local H&M. Um, so I'm sure they've got loads in yours as well. So I definitely recommend when you are ready to go back out to the shops to have a look if you want to get your hands on it. This is the next dress. So it's exactly the same style, but it's in this gorgeous floral print. It's quite subtle and it's almost like it's almost like it's washed out faded, but I think that's what draws me to it because it's not bold, it's not it's not statement in your face, but it's not plain. It's got a little bit something different about it and it's got these really nice subtle bits of yellow running throughout, which I really like for just a tiny bit of colour. Um, again, I've got this in a size 6. It's got buttons running all the way down it. Make that focus. Yeah, so it's got buttons running all the way down it. Again, a cute little sweetheart neckline, thin straps. I don't, I mean, it fits me perfectly, so I don't think I would size up. I think it's pretty true to size, to be honest. Um, and again, it's lined. It was $24.99, the same as the previous one. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this one. This is probably one of my favourites. And again, no pockets, unfortunately. H&M, take no pockets would make this dress a 10. It's currently a 9.5. But yeah, this is the second one I picked up. This is the third dress that I picked up from H&M and it's probably one of my favourites. I was inspired to get this after seeing it on Lydia Millen. Um, it looked absolutely gorgeous and she was right in that it looks so much more expensive than it actually is. And I absolutely love finding pieces like that and H&M are a really good place for that type of thing. So this is a cream linen dress. It's got sleeves, puffed up sleeves, and again, a gorgeous, a gorgeous, a gorgeous sweetheart neckline, which is super flattering. It's got buttons going all the way down again, like on the other dresses. There's a bit of a theme going on here. And then it's got a tie up waist belt just to cinch you in. Um, this one isn't lined, so you do need to be careful and make sure you're wearing nude underwear as you don't wanna be see-through at the back. And because it's linen, it is more prone to creasing, um, but it's linen, it's gonna do that. So I wouldn't really worry about it too much. I prefer linen when it's a little bit creased anyway, as it just looks, Looks a little bit more natural, more real. This one was, again, I think it was $24.99, so super affordable, um, and I'm wearing the size six. I, If I could, I'd probably size down one more, just because it might fit me a tiny bit better on the shoulders. They're not gonna fall off as such, but it's quite easy to. Um, so it could be a tiny bit more fitted around this area, but everywhere else it fits great. Um, and I really, really like this one. I love that it's got sleeves. Like I said about the first dress, I wish it had a tiny little cap sleeves just because the weather is so up and down. But this one is perfect, so I'm super happy with it. It's a midi length, so it goes between mid calf, so as you can see, um, and super comfy, super easy to wear. Not as flowy as the other one, um, but that's because this doesn't have like a bodice to it, it just goes straight down. But yeah, love this one and a super good summer find. And then for this next one, I've just popped some denim shorts on to be able to show you with it, but I actually think it works really well together. So this is a pink top from H&M I picked up. Again, it's got thin spaghetti straps and it's got like this, it's got like this bodice feel to it. So it's quite tight. You feel secure, like you're not going to fall out of it. Um, and then it's got these ruffles, which I think you can kind of like choose how you want them. So as you can see, you can kind of just like play around with it to how you want it to look. Um, it's a bit of a strange material. I'm not quite sure 
what you would call it. Um, I'll find out and I'll pop it in the description box below. This one is quite clever because, because it's like that bodice feel. Oh, I can't get out. A bardo top. So on a really hot summer's day or even on holiday, this would be perfect. You could go strapless and wear it like a bando top um, and it's not going anywhere. You feel safe, secure, you're not gonna fall out of it as such. So this is a really great versatile top and I actually really like it bando style. I think it's really cute and this would look great with white trousers, white shorts, be really nice for holiday. It's quite a quite a candy pink I would say, nearly like edging edging on sweet candy. Um, I wouldn't choose it normally as it's a little bit too girly. I mean, is there such a thing? Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean, where it's almost, it's too sweet. But in this top, I think you can kind of, you get away with it a little bit because of the style of the top is so cute. I think it was, I think it was 19 99 and I know it also comes in black. So I will link this down below as well. And then the last thing I picked up in H&M from their divided section, I think, which is like their, their basic collection, is this white cardigan, but it has these, so this probably isn't the best top to show you it with, but it has these, this little tie detail and you could tie it up like that. I really wanted to get this because I have seen quite a few influences like Lauren Crow especially wear cardigans like this from like Revolve or House of CBB which are like 10 times more expensive and this was like 9.99 I think. Yeah it was 9.99 so super affordable um, and it's actually just a really nice basic white cardigan like I think I'll get loads of use out of this just to throw on on your shoulders especially with like a top like this which has got spaghetti straps when the weather is just up and down up and down you just want something to throw on just to keep the chill off a little bit so I think this is perfect I got this in a size extra small and it fits like a glove I probably could have sized up actually um and with my cute little basket bag my straw bag I think this is actually a really cute summer's picnic outfit really casual cute comfy um and if the sun's out I can take the straps down um so no tan lines which is always a winner but yeah I think this is really really cute and a good little find so yeah that's what I picked up from H&M and then I thought I would quickly just show you what I picked up from Primark there wasn't too much in there that I fancied to be honest um so I just picked up these sliders here mainly because when it's wet outside and we still have to take Rex outside for a wee these will be super super handy so garden shoes and then of course I picked up a pair of pajamas because you can't go in Primark and not pick up PJs these are like I think they're like more like three quarter lengths calot style um, bottoms um, and it's really cute pinky colour with nice lace trim detail on them and the same for the cami sole top a little nice lace here so super cute so that's all I got from Primark there wasn't that much that I loved in there and I don't like to just pick up things for the sake of it these days so this is what I got from Primark let me know if you've been into Primark lately and what you thought of the whole experience. I actually thought it was okay, to be honest. I went in around, around just before lunchtime and there weren't that many people in there. Um, sorry, you can see my dressing gown, that's ugly. <laughs> Um, there wasn't that many people in there. They'd spaced quite a lot of things out. There was a really good queuing system. Um, hand sanitizer as you walked in, which is in most shops at the minute. Um, and yeah, the t queuing system, there was obviously a long queue to pay, but it went really, really quickly. Um, so that's really good. Um, but yeah, no drama in Primark. Um, but yeah, so we then went to Ikea, which was super exciting because yeah, there was lots of home bits I wanted to pick up after spending so much time at home after the few months. I got a bit bored of stuff and I just wanted to change things up. So I'm gonna now show you what I picked up as I got so excited about getting it all home last night that I just wanted to get it out, get it in its place, find homes for everything. So that's what I spent last night doing. So I'm gonna take you around and show you it all in situ basically. First of all, I thought I would show you the lamps that we picked up from Ikea. So this is 
all of it together so you can see what it looks like. So we bought these brass gold, quite old fashioned lamps with cream lampshades. They were, I think they were £15 each, so really affordable, especially when you need more than one. And though the main metal is silver in here i actually think this works really well because of our bedding and our bed which is more neutrally beige shades and also i want to get some frames here to go either side of the bed can't decide whether to put them here or like in the middle of the bed we'll see but i can also now get some gold frames and it will then match the lamps and i'm also going to change the picture frames so they match as well but these are really cute we need to get some bulbs to go in them but i really like this feature um i think it's super easy to turn on and off and though it's a little bit old-fashioned i actually really like the style of it so that is the first thing that we picked up then if we head to the kitchen turn the lamp on the main things that we then got were for the kitchen as i spend a lot of time in this room over the past three months and i've just been fed up of everything in here basically and just wanted to ch shake it up change things so i bought these pinky colored kitchen canisters so we used to have complete copper ones. I was getting a bit fed up with the copper and thought it was a bit too much. So I've changed it to these, really like them. And it means I don't have to change the kettle or the toaster straight away because the color still goes with the copper. Um, I was worried I was gonna have to get everything all at once. And you know how expensive it is to just buy a kettle and a toaster all at the same time but luckily the new ones that i've got do go with the copper so i'm going to keep them for a little while longer and i actually prefer the kitchen if i come out a little bit as a whole now because it's not too much copper it's just the toaster and the kettle and just a little heat resistant mat there it's just helped to refresh it a little bit so we bought them i then bought the famous ikea basket so the famous ikea basket i bought two of these but the other one is a storage for rex's toys as he's gathered so many so in here i've just put a tea towel this has got the sugar in and then this i also bought from ikea and it's going to be our utensil jar and i've ordered some new wooden utensils to go in here as i'm really liking the mix between rustic and modern i kind of wanted to bring a little bit more rustic features into the kitchen um because our flat is super modern it is a new build so yeah bought them three pieces then also bought this cute little jug now i wasn't planning to have this out on the side but when i was arranging it last night it looked really cute and i thought you know what to have it out with water in all the time filled up putting it in the fridge at night with lemon just reminds you to constantly keep drinking and it's actually a really nice feature so i really really like that one and then up here i'm just going to bring it down i bought this gorgeous large clear jar however clumsy me smashed the lid last night and it went everywhere so i'm gonna have to order a new one today annoyingly but i'm thinking to fill this up with either maryland cookies or oreos um, and just to keep it constantly filled up all the time i just think it would look really really cool and again i think like a clear jar just adds a bit more of that rustic vibe in with the basket um which is kind of what i'm looking for i wanted to like go a little bit in between like everywhere is super modern and i just wanted to add a little bit more some rustic features in so that is going to live up there but i am going to order a new one and then they were the main things that we bought from ikea we bought like some dog bits some towels um other boring bits but what i did want to show you and ask you about is these shelves up here so i'm happy with the jar and then the plant there but then the top shelf i'm not quite sure what to put there so at the minute i've got a diffuser some room spray and a candle but let me know if you've got any other ideas of what i can put there not sure whether to maybe get some 
cookbooks, maybe a book divider. I'm not too sure. Let me know your thoughts. Rex is getting angry. Oh, hey, do you want to be on camera? You're on camera. Though you're not in focus. There you go. Now you're in focus. He's in his bed. You should be asleep. You should be asleep, little boy. <laughs> anyway, back to the shells. If you have any ideas or you've seen anything on Pinterest, do send it to me as I literally cannot find anything, but I'm gonna spend the rest of today looking. So that was like the main bits that we got from Ikea. It doesn't seem like a lot, but we spent like 80, 100 pound. So it's crazy really how that all adds up. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it wasn't too random. I just had quite a few little bits that I wanted to put into one video to show you. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want to see a video all about Rex um, or if you have any questions about him, let me know in the comments below and I can answer them and go through them. Yeah, any questions about the hairdresser experience? So annoying that I couldn't vlog it. I really wanted to. Um, but to be honest, it wasn't all that different. You just wore a face mask, ah, which I'll show you now. So this was the face mask. Make sure I'm in focus. So this was the face mask that I wore to the hairdressers. It's from River Island and it's in quite a nice striped floral print. I do want to get a neutral one though. This one is just, just so I've got one. Um, and it actually fits me really well. And then you can pull it up. Um, but as you can see, it fits quite well. So I'm quite happy with it. But yeah, it's super hot. Um, but you get used to it, I suppose. I'm going to take it off. Um, but yeah, it's like £5. They've got, River Island have lots of different styles and different colours and prints. Um, so if you want to try out a few different ones, definitely check out the website. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking for a more neutral one to work with the rest of my outfits. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and do leave me a comment down below to let me know. Anything that I've shown you product wise I will link it down below in the description box as well so you can check it out if you want to have a look but yeah I'll see you in my next video bye